it's your girl crystal otv crystal o all of that uh, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are new here if you are new here go ahead and subscribe because i am just on this new journey of becoming a mother and just getting to become pregnant literally by a miracle from god and i just want to take you along on the journey i really want to normalize conversations about infertility um, because we did struggle to get pregnant i was actually diagnosed with two diseases not one two diseases um so i've been through a little bit okay um i will talk more in depth about that journey as time goes on so stick around because you don't want to miss it and i just really hope that by sharing my heart it could empower you educate you and also just maybe if you're someone who's going through infertility maybe you'll also feel seen and encouraged by my story and you know kind of where we are now so anyways we're gonna go ahead and recap the first trimester and symptoms all that good stuff just kind of how it went okay let's talk about how it went uh, my first trimester I pretty much disappeared so I didn't really get to update y'all on what was going on I was just a ghost for good reason first trimester was like what I would call the beautiful ghetto like it was just like so beautiful to finally be pregnant and finally have my positive pregnancy test and going to the doctor for you know maternity visits and everything coming back clear but it was ghetto in terms of just the symptoms that I had now I won't say that my symptoms were as bad as others that I've heard about but mine were were rough on me because I just I wasn't expecting it so one of my major symptoms was extreme exhaustion and that's why I disappeared for so long because I literally didn't have the energy to show up on Instagram basically show up in real life right <laughs> I just didn't have it in me I didn't have the capacity and I honestly just really wanted to focus on growing this little human inside of me without the pressures of having to do stuff for social media or perform or just you know be present because i just didn't have capacity another symptom that i had was eating eat 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 eat, eat. y'all i ate like the world was going to end tomorrow i was so hungry like it was to the point where i was annoyed by how hungry i was like it was like dang like you don't visited this fridge for the 18th time today sis close it okay lock it like let it go so that was a lot for me because i wasn't used to eating that much like, i i i eat but it was it was abnormally more than you know i normally did eat so to me it was just really weird having to experience that and we're talking like if i don't eat or i skip a beat or i kind of sort of get hungry my body goes into a spiral right i get nauseated i get a headache i get dizzy like it's so it was the, the drama it was so dramatic i'm like girl we, it's been 10 minutes like relax so to me and i say girl talking to myself because we don't want to know the gender yet we're having a gender reveal so we won't even know until the gender reveal but at this time yes we could know the gender of the baby but we're going to find out at our gender reveal in about a month or so no yeah two months month, two months one to two months but anyways i was super hungry all the time like i said i was super sleepy i slept for breakfast lunch and dinner even whenever one of my symptoms during our, the two week wait or well actually i was pregnant at that time and my husband didn't know yet i and i knew but y'all i slept for probably like eight hours like throughout the day like throughout the day so i slept a lot i was tired a lot i would say some positive symptoms <laughs> were that i thought i was just so beautiful like i would look in the mirror and i'm like oh my gosh like i'm so pretty like wow my skin is just amazing like i was just like really just glowy and i really enjoyed that my chest my little my girlies down here they were so sore like so sore like it was i couldn't explain i can't explain how sore they were but they were so sore and they hurt so bad and they started leaking in my first trimester so i guess that could happen um it's not super abnormal but it just shows that baby is gonna have a surplus amount of milk supply okay we talking like dairy queen over here because it's already we already got it sorted out. We got it in storage. We got back order. We got in bulk. What you need, little baby? Okay. But um, 
that was one of them. Another one was, uh, another positive one I would say would be my nails. My nails have been really brittle for like a long time because I've done so much damage to them on my own and by getting acrylic nails and just removal and stuff like that. Um, my nails have started strengthening. They're really like thick and they're growing really long. So I'm like, yes, I have my nails back. That's a great thing. Another positive one I would say is not necessarily a symptom, but I would say just like being pregnant comes with its perks, you know, like especially with my husband and my family, like just, you know, this desire to take care, well, this more of a desire to take care of me. I'm the last born and the baby in my family. So I'm already taken care of, but like now it's like an extra mile. And I'm like, mm -hmm, thank you, pamper me, yes please thank you so husband is definitely um, on his toes trying to make sure that he's pampering me and taking care of me and I'm super appreciative of that my mom my Dallas mom uh, my husband's mom she is also just you know there's so much concern and care around me and the baby and I know that once this baby comes they're going to hijack this child from me but it's but it's 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 you know it's a miracle so we're grateful oh I would get really bad indigestion indigestion headaches of course frequent urination I was peeing like literally six times during the night and I was like bruh if I wake up one more time like I'm gonna wear a diaper I'm gonna put a diaper on and we're calling it a day okay problem solved but I didn't do that I was like you know what be an adult get up go use the restroom so I did that but it was very frustrating uh, my first trimester I did not sleep well. I don't know what it was. I would just have random back pain and it just didn't make sense to me why I was having such major back pain because I didn't really have that much of a bump. It was, I mean, my bump came along pretty quickly, but I feel like it just didn't make sense why I wasn't sleeping well. I don't know if it was just like the way my organs were shifting because of baby, you know, placenta and like the whole, you know, deal of it. But I was just very like shocked that my sleep was impacted. My lower back was in shambles and it was just a lot to like get new and like adjust to. Now that I'm in my second trimester, I am sleeping a lot better and I will do a video about my second trimester once I kind of come, I don't know, I'll just kind of do a second video eventually. Yeah, that was basically some parts of it that were pretty rough for me and like with indigestion, I still have that in my second trimester but one thing about indigestion, no, acid reflux was that I would just throw up a little bit in my mouth. Like it was kind of gross. Like I never threw up from pregnancy. Like I don't have that symptom. That's just not my, my that's not my testimony. That's not my story. Um, I never threw up from it, but I do have acid reflux. Like if I eat anything that's like too as, as, acid, has a high acidity level. Don't play me, I went to school. Um, if it has a high acidity level, it causes me to kind of regurgitate and then like it like comes out and then I'm like oh my gosh I swallow I don't want to spit it out because I feel like that's that's it has it, that I feel like if I spit it out it'll go all the way through my mouth and then I'll really throw up like I'll really be I mean, it's disgusting already that it comes up but I feel like it goes out right here I'm gonna it's gonna all come out okay but anyways I felt like if I literally like let it all come out I would just it'd be free reign. We'd just be throwing up party, okay? But for me, first try was not terrible. I definitely had cravings. Pickles were my jam. Ooh, basil fried rice. Listen, basil Vietnamese fried rice. It was so good. Like, I think it was th Thai fried rice? No. Is it Thai fried rice or Vietnamese? I don't know. But it was good, y'all. I used to get that like every other day <laughs> and Nico would have to drive and get it for me. I love marble slab ice cream but I literally had like an aversion to it. Like I didn't want to eat it anymore. Like I was like, I don't want that. So it was weird because on some days I would like things, but on other days I would hate it. And then he my husband would be like, well, you just ate it yesterday. I'm like, I know, I know, but I don't want it anymore. So I don't know, pregnancy all in all is just such a, it's such like, it's such an interesting thing, right? I felt like, you know, those movies where you get your powers, but you don't know how to use them, but you have to like do things to like activate them and sustain them. For me, I thought my, my sustaining thing was eating. I felt like an abnormal super creature, like because of how much I needed to eat to survive and provide energy for this baby. So it was definitely um, funny to me. I was like, I just feel like a superhuman, like <laughs> they just got their powers and now I need to figure 
God, this is stated. So that was basically that part of the journey. But first trimester did go by really fast for me. I felt like I blinked and it was over. So I really expect this whole pregnancy to fly by, to be completely honest. Now that I'm not in my first trimester, um, I do have some new symptoms. I do have less symptoms from first try um, that I'll talk about. But yeah, I will make sure to do like bump pictures for every single month just so I can compile them at the end and show you all. But I just wanted to hop on here to say thank you again for all the love that I was shown, that we were shown on our announcement video. Truly, truly, it is a miracle. We're so grateful to God for just allowing us to become parents. We've longed to become parents for so long. Our heart has broken through infertility over and over again. So just to have this the beauty of life in my body is just a blessing and um, we don't take it for granted. Baby is healthy, pregnancy is healthy as can be and can we just stop and realize the gratitude and the, the impact, the significance of things being normal. For years, doctors told me, this is not right, this is abnormal, this is this, this is that. And to just go into an appointment and for the doctor to say, everything is normal, everything looks good, I'm just like, what? You know, I don't take that for granted because that, that wasn't my story. So any little thing in this pregnancy that goes right, I'm, I celebrate it 10 times harder because to me, that's not the card we're all dealt. You know what I mean? Like I was dealt a card for four years, well for close to four years, that was hard and filled with lots of you know pain and God was using that in his own way. And the same way when I go to these appointments and I hear things are all normal, it makes me just as much more grateful to him and just as much more hopeful that, um, yeah, that even those watching who are struggling can get pregnant and God can definitely make it happen. And I'm believing with you and I'm hoping for you and I'm hoping with you. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Ask any questions you have. Maybe I can do a pregnancy Q&A next. I do wanna show you guys more of like my pregnancy, like just, I guess, I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, ask questions. And of course, from that, I will create videos and things like that. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you, or help, not helpful, well, yeah, I hope it was helpful um, in understanding my journey, <laughs> or just a little bit of my journey. And of course, like I said, we will share more about the journey and like even how we got pregnant or how we found out or what, what occurred, right? And we will share more, so bear with us. Just follow, subscribe all that good stuff and stay in the loop. I'm glad you're here if you're new. If you're not new, hope you stick around and I will chat with you all in my next video. Bye.